Holy fucking shit, five hours and two minutes. Uh, I don't know if this challenge is going to be realistic. Is swapping phone time for reading the solution to your problems? It depends on the problem. I'm going to talk about three. Number one, did it improve my mood? Number two, did I get more value out of it than watching videos on social media? And number three, did it help me improve in any way, shape or form? I tried to read my average screen time five hours and two minutes every day for three days. Here's what I learned. The first topic is mood. Personally, after two hours of binging YouTube, I usually don't feel so good about it. But on day one, when I read for five hours of this book, I felt fine. I felt good, if anything. I did feel better reading than I ever did binge watching. So that's a resounding yes, it did improve my mood. Now to the second point of value. With reading, I felt like my time was well spent. And you might think, well, it really depends on the book. And yeah, that's true. I was getting so much more value from this book in terms of what to do for content creation than I ever have in like an hour long special of Mr. Beast giving YouTube advice. In terms of value, this kind of book is just jam packed with so much stuff that no other video on YouTube can possibly match this. So you might think, Paul, what about fiction? What about if you're not reading to learn something, but you're just reading for fun? And I did read Dune a few years ago before the movies came out. And I would say I did not regret the time I spent reading Dune either. Even though it was fiction, I felt like I still got more value from reading this book than I ever did of 10 hours or more watching YouTube videos. It goes without saying that nonfiction can pack a ton of value, but fiction, I would say this still trumps YouTube in terms of the value that you get. And the last topic, if you're someone who has goals, if you're trying to learn some skill, trying to get better at something, if you're a creator like me, is reading the solution to your problems instead of phone time? And the answer is yes and no. One of the most memorable quotes from this book is, number of hours I spend consuming should never equal or exceed the number of hours I spend creating. Platforms are for publishing first, consuming second. So you shouldn't be reading as much as you should be practicing the skill that you want to develop. MJ DeMarco echoes the same message in The Millionaire Fastlane, where he says that you should turn off the TV, pick up a book and read it. But the biggie is applying it. The acquisition and application of knowledge will make you rich. So it's not just the acquisition, the reading, but it's also the application of what you read that's important. So while it is important to read books, if you don't apply anything you read, then it's useless. For those of you who are curious whether I did complete my challenge or not. Okay, five hours and two minutes. I don't know if I'm gonna make it, man. Let's try it. Starting now. It is end of day one and 11 p.m. right now. I'm all ready for bed but I still have over 16 minutes left on my timer to read. I'm gonna read my Kindle in bed and end the night like that. End of day two, I failed. I have more than two hours left to read. So I watched tennis and a movie instead of reading. Well, shit, this is day three and I did not complete my reading challenge. Again, I have an hour left, it is bedtime. I read for almost four hours. But even though I failed my challenge, I think I got more reading done in three days than I do usually in a month or two months. I'm a slow reader. This is like a 300 page book and I've almost finished it. So I'm glad that I did the challenge, but I'm not going to continue binge reading. Writing and making videos will take priority over reading because practicing my skill, practicing my craft is more important than just being an information sponge and not really making use of it. So for those of you who are curious about my screen time during the reading challenge, July 7th was day one. That was two hours and 24 minutes. Day two, I had one hour and 22 minutes. Day three, I had two hours and 25 minutes. And that was the last third day of the reading challenge. The other days subsequently, I've averaged just over two hours. There was one three hour day and the day is still half done for today. So that's, that's why it's low today. But on average, my screen time is two hours and 13 minutes a day this week. And that's largely in part because of me not watching YouTube on my phone and just using my phone for messaging, calling, journaling, and music. 
So this reading challenge has affected my phone time even after the challenge was over. So if you want to be in a better mood, I would say yes, read more than your screen time. If you want more bang for your buck, more value, then yes, read then more of your phone time. And if you're striving towards developing skills and having goals that you wanna pursue, then read in moderation and spend more time honing your skills that you need to develop. 1% better every day, baby.